You're listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Today is Tuesday, November 14th. Senator Tim Scott, Republican from South Carolina, announced the suspension of his presidential campaign during an interview with Trey Gowdy on Fox News. Despite having substantial funding and high approval ratings, Scott stated that the decision was influenced by the voters' message of not now, Tim. He quoted Romans chapter 828 to emphasize his belief in God's plan and expressed his intention to continue serving and helping people. Gowdy highlighted Scott's contributions in areas like economic opportunities and criminal justice. Surprisingly, members of Scott's campaign were unaware of his decision, describing it as shocking. This announcement follows former Vice President Mike Pence's campaign suspension last month, attributed to declining support and fundraising challenges. Pence, speaking at an event in Las Vegas, expressed no regrets about his campaign efforts. An article from Getty Images discusses the use of artificial intelligence in creating church sermons, highlighting a study by Barna and Glue. The study surveyed 1,500 U.S. adults, revealing that a majority of Christians do not view AI positively in the context of the church, with 30% strongly disagreeing and 21% somewhat disagreeing with the statement, quote, AI is good for the Christian church. Only 22% agreed to some extent. Most U.S. adults are still familiarizing themselves with AI, with a mix of distrust and curiosity. In a separate survey of ministry leaders, 63% were comfortable with their understanding of AI, but 62% rarely or never use it in their work. Over half expressed ethical or moral concerns. Savannah Kimberlin of Barna Group noted a divide in opinions about AI's role in the church. Jay Cooper, pastor of Violet Crown City Church, experimented with an AI-generated service but found it lacking, stating that while it wasn't heretical, it reflected human flaws and lacked sentient understanding. Ayan Hirsi Ali, a prominent former Muslim and critic of Islam, has converted to Christianity, making a significant shift from her past beliefs. In an essay for Unheard, Hirsi Ali recounts her journey from Islam to atheism, influenced by Bertrand Russell's lecture, quote, Why I Am Not a Christian, and ultimately to Christianity. She describes her early adherence to a strict interpretation of Islam influenced by the Muslim Brotherhood and her later disillusionment following the 9-11 attacks. Her conversion to Christianity is attributed to her desire for a unifying force against contemporary threats to Western civilization and her critique of atheism for creating a void in values and unity. Dr. Robert George commented on her conversion, highlighting her previous belief in atheism as a path to rationality and civil liberty, but noting her realization of its shortcomings. Hersey Ali's embrace of Christianity stems from a personal quest for spiritual solace and meaning and a belief in Christianity's unifying and mobilizing potential. She also suggested reforms to Islam, advocating for a reinterpretation of its texts and a focus on earthly life over the afterlife, among other amendments. Scott Sauls, senior pastor of Christ Presbyterian Church in Nashville, Tennessee, resigned following a congregation vote amid allegations of an unhealthy leadership style. Serving for 12 years, Sauls faced scrutiny after former staff members raised concerns about his behavior. He admitted to missteps, including insensitivity and misusing his platform, but denied involvement in sexual scandals or substance abuse. A Nashville Presbytery group oversaw his disciplinary actions, including counseling, and recently suggested lifting his suspension. However, Sauls chose to resign, with his congregation voting 517 to 122 in favor. Sauls, who previously worked in New York City and planted churches in Kansas City and St. Louis, is known for his books on Christian Christian living. In a 2018 interview, he emphasized the importance of accountability for pastors, cautioning against the risks of isolation and moral failure in growing ministries. He advocated for character over charisma in church leadership. Several news outlets like CNN, the Associated Press, the New York Times, and Reuters were scrutinized by the media watchdog Honest Reporting, which questioned why photojournalists were present at the Gaza border before a Hamas attack on October 7th. This attack led to at least 1,400 deaths and many injuries and hostages. The scrutiny particularly focused on freelance photographer Hassan Eslaya, who worked with AP and CNN, along with other journalists. Reuters and AP denied having prior knowledge of the attack and stated their commitment to fair and accurate reporting. AP also mentioned cutting ties with Eslaya. The New York Times defended its journalistic practices, emphasizing their effort to document events authentically. Honest Reporting clarified that their concern was about the vetting process of freelance journalists by these media outlets, noting Hamas's control over media within Gaza. CNN also severed ties with Islaya, denying prior knowledge of the attack. 
Andrew Patrick Landsberger, a former accountant of Galilee Episcopal Church in Virginia Beach, was sentenced to five years in prison for embezzling over $176,000 from the church. Landsberger committed the crime between January and August 2022 using the church's credit card for unauthorized Amazon transactions, totaling over $34,000, and altering the church's payroll system to overpay himself by over $134,000. The church recovered $112,000 through insurance and credit card company reimbursement, but suffered a net loss of over $176,000. Landsberger has been ordered to pay the remaining $64,000. The Reverend Andrew D. Buchanan, the rector of the church, addressed the congregation about the incident and the steps taken to improve financial security, such as internal and external audits. This case highlights a broader issue of church embezzlement in the U.S. with a Texas A&M School of Law reporting revealing that churches lost around $59 billion to such fraud in 2022, often due to lack of oversight and a trusting nature. Great American Pure Flix, a platform known for family and faith-based entertainment, has released a teaser for its Christmas movie marathon, Great American Christmas, featuring a range of holiday films. The event, which started on October 13th and runs through December 23rd, showcases 20 new films, including titles like A Christmas Blessing and My Christmas Hero. Candace Cameron Bure, a key figure in the lineup, also serves as the chief creative officer of Great American Media. Other notable stars include Lori Laughlin, Dick Van Dyke, and Angela Lansbury. The movies focus on themes like faith, freedom, and the joys of the Christmas season, with each week of the marathon having a specific Christmas-related theme. Bill Abbott, president and CEO of Great American Media, emphasizes the aim of spreading joy and inspiration through these uplifting movies during the holiday season. Thank you for listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast in your podcast player of choice, Apple Podcasts on iPhone, Spotify on iPhone or Android, or Google Podcasts in your Android device. Don't forget you can download the Edify app by searching for Edify, E-D-I-F-I, in the iPhone or Android app stores. There you can access our entire network of faith-based and uplifting podcasts. You can also subscribe to the Christian Post daily newsletter and get the top headlines every day delivered right to your inbox. You can click the links to download the Edify app or subscribe to the newsletter in the podcast episode description. We would also appreciate a five-star rating and review in the Apple Podcasts app or in Spotify. Thank you for listening. This has been the Christian Post daily podcast.